All right, doing another update of the Thunderbird transmission. As you can see, I've got it down to just a bare case. And I've got the pile of stuff over here. So this is the part that failed right there. So that gear that has no teeth on it is second gear. And that's what I was engaged in when I did a huge clutch dump at four grand and it looks like it has just sheared all those teeth completely off of it. With the noises that it was making I was afraid I had broken that shaft in half but it is all still together. Um, but the teeth are completely gone. So um, as you would expect the opposing gear has got some damage. And it's on that shaft. This big long one would run right on top of it. And that is second gear. You can see one of the teeth is bent and it's just got some general damage on it. So at this point what I need to do is purchase a new counter shaft. And just a quick look on the internet it would appear you can get these for 120 bucks, 150, I don't know, somewhere in that range. I'm just, I have to be conscious that I'm getting the right gear ratios. And then I will definitely need another second gear, which hopefully will be under 100. And then all these little brass rings um, should probably be updated. And I'm going to purchase a set from Mike Puckett because he's got some custom um, synchronizer rings that have a carbon fiber friction material inside. And the better that they can grab onto that gear, just the easier it's going to shift. So uh, I didn't really see any other damage, even on the gears or on that um, slider ring that's in between first and second. Uh, but still, all that's got to come apart. Give it all a good cleaning. I don't plan on replacing any bearings or anything else in here. Just uh, the gear, the counter shaft, new synchros, and then maybe a couple doodads. Um, you know, some of these crushed nuts. I, I don't know if I'll reuse them or not. So after fluid and everything, I don't know. It's looking like uh, five or six hundred dollars to rebuild. But uh, I am happy that the case does not have any damage because it is just an aluminum case and it is beefy because it was just full of gunk at the bottom of it when it blew up and I was afraid that it may crack that case but case looks good. So that's the update for now. Peace.